I was at my 18th contact improvisation jam, five-day jam at Harbin Hot Springs, and it was the third day, and this slew of self-judgment and judgments on others was coming through, and I was going, oh God, why is this happening? And then I went, wait a minute, I'd been to enough of these jams that I realized this always happens on the third day, that this train of self-doubt has like this itinerary and I can like look at my watch, I can hear it coming down and then watch it come through. And at one of the big circles that afternoon, I talked about this train of self-doubt and a lot of people went, me too, me too. And through my time as both a student and a teacher, I've realized since then that this is really common for a lot of people, that it's the third day that the train comes through. And being able to recognize that as a teacher, I can often bring it up and then people can go, oh yeah, I'm going through that. And then they can wave at the train as it goes by rather than get on board. So just knowing that and marking it in a lot of workshops, I then began to notice that the fourth day, often the train has gone by and people are much more comfortable in the space. They feel like they're all there. And it's a really good time to go into new material where they're going into places they've never gone before. The fifth day, on the other hand, is a time often when people rebound. They go to where it's safe for them. They go back to their old habits. And just knowing this makes it easier for me as a teacher to like have this geography of time of when people are more receptive or when they need to go back to safer places. I love teaching. I love what it brings me. I love what it teaches me. And I love seeing how this form transmits to people as they discover it.